boom video. All right, Sagittarius, we are back. We are back. Let me tell you something. I'm just gonna shuffle these bitches. I was trying to keep them in their way. They ain't uh, working for me. <laughs> Girl, I worked on every video. Pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. Hey. Pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. That's what kind of gives me the. Hey. That's the song. It's called Pick Yourself Up. Pick Yourself Up. Hey. Pick Yourself Up. Pick Yourself Up. That's what it kind of gets me though. I don't know. Are you telling somebody that? Or that's the mood you got for somebody else. Just go read the lyrics. That's the energy that I have. Pick Yourself Up. Pick Yourself Up. real different step out of your comfort zone north node ain't they got something to do with like your karmic sister sign or whatever the case may be so for sagittarius it would be gemini so it'll be oop shit that would be gemini so they'll probably be taking the time to think you know so think about certain things that you want to do mm -hmm. that's weird okay all right maximum is getting things setting okay this energy is gaining momentum setting about drugs so we're just gonna go with it though i ate a couple of edibles last night so i think the energy is kind of like left over Ugh. a new romantic cycle begins no no that's too many we're just gonna take this as it is expect the powerful change we're gonna see is it gonna give us one more Pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. Baby. That's all it is. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon and Taurus. I just want to see what's going to come next. Mm -hmm. That's it, though. Oh, shit, my bad. I just want to see what's coming next. Boom. All right. We're going to make it after all. I ain't put a good coat on them, so they just start uh, chipping. I gotta take it off. I don't know why the hell it's in my head. It's like switching from pick yourself up, pick yourself up. Hey, it comes to the same. You blow that shit. That's what kind of gets me though. I'm sorry. Lame bitches, lame bitches, lame cameras. But it's really empowering though. So that may be your mood, or that may be how you may be viewing other people in that situation. Don't know, but we gonna see. Last shuffle. Last shuffle. All right. Ooh, we got five of pentacles on the bottom of the day. Yes, that's what I said. You may be telling somebody that, or someone, or something. Pick yourself up. Step out of your comfort zone. Let's see. I think North, North Node, like, don't quote me. Don't quote me. But I think the North Node has something to do, where you hear me say, with you. Oh, and your sister side. I think so. Yeah, I think so. So that's the person, like, who's counter opposite to you, or whatever the case may be. So that would be. That would be. Gemini, damn. I just said it. Ace of Wands. There you go. Pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. Hey. Okay, so you got step out of your comfort zone. You got four cups and the judgment here and the moon. Whew. That's why I said pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. That's why I was singing that shit. I knew it was going to come out. This could be like you hear me say, um, somebody could be having a pity party. 
somebody i ain't gonna say a pity party you could somebody else somebody you could be dealing with but it could be a pity party you hear me say needing a sense of a pick me up that's why i kept saying pick yourself up pick yourself up because look at her this is the hand that's coming in that's offering them some sort of emotional support or reason but this is judgment you hear me say that's a little bit clouded or just like in a dark type space and then you have the piscean energy where you hear me say being hidden so it could be you though could be hidden behind it somebody could be misjudging you or you could be misjudging someone you hear me say pick yourself up pick yourself up hey stop Somebody could be misjudging you or you could be misjudging someone because you got Knight of Cups, everything is fine, cheered in the Two of Cups. That's why I said when it comes to a sense of relationship or a person, people have very different personality traits and like uh, different things that make them them in those type of moments. It really do though. That's why I said this is like partnering up. Oh, it could be you operating in the sense of the illusions. It doesn't have to be like, oh my God, yeah, I see the best in somebody. Like, you could probably see the worst in somebody. Before then, or somebody could see that within you. I don't know. That's why I said step outside of your comfort zone or whatever case may be. Stepping into, you kind of should have just gave me a, like Aquarius energy. Show the world the real you. That's what it kind of gave me though. But not saying like that for its emotional vulnerability type things that's why i said step out of your comfort zone may not be a chatty person or converse with certain people you may just be like okay well i'm just gonna hold a conversation with a rando and i don't know why you know what i'm saying to build some sort of a person that's completely opposite that's why i said so it's kind of like yeah that's why i said you gotta step outside your comfort zone and like recognize like okay well is this nigga like to make a sense of a relationship with certain people or repair. This is kind of the repair. It kind of gives me like you repairing or you trying to go out. That's why I said it's kind of like pick yourself up, pick yourself up. Hey, that's what it kind of gives me though. Why am I doing that? The energy is gaining momentum. I knew that motherfucker was going to come out. Girl, that was the seven of cups that damn fell upright. Hell. Page of swords. I said that though. They go that fiery cuss of bitch out. Five of pentacles energy. I told y'all that though. I said I was going to. This is the year of me for as a Scorpio for fire energy. I said I was channeling. Wait a minute. I said I was channeling. Um, I said I'm going to use. This going to be the year for me for fire energy. I said which is Sagittarius. I said because. I said Aries. They impulsive. You hear me say. Uh, hard to get them to stick to something. Leo is most times. Um, they could kind of get tricked out of their position or just be so focused on the me, me, me aspects or when I say tricked out of their position, caring about other people. So I said this. So I was like, no, I can see for us that other side for us being readable. I was like, then needing to cut somebody out at the same time. All right. The energy is gaining momentum. Just as you got five of wands, three of swords, and the page of wands. Yes, this is what it is trying to bring some peace to a situation trying to fix something when you hear me say well this is dealing with heartbreak heartache trying some situations problematic matters of the emotional aspects and communicating them trying to gain some sense of peace that's why i keep saying pick yourself up pick yourself up hey stop that shit it's like coming to terms though because you got five of cups, nine of pentacles, and the seven of cups. It may be coming to terms with something that you felt like you had to leave behind. Or you once then pulled like a lot of interest into. That's why I said with the nine of pentacles and the seven of cups. It's kind of like this revisiting process. It kind of just gives me that though. It, like that's why I said just restoring. Restoring, bringing some sense of peace. It's kind of like something that you did not pay attention to at once upon a time. Because it goes from the two, the nine, the seven of cups. If they cut this motherfucking grace one more goddamn time, y'all. Yes. Let me get back. Because I'm saying they just been cutting grace every day this fucking week. I'm like, I ain't known nobody grace to grow back that damn fast. And it's the same people. But back here, though, that's what you hear me say. It's like recovering from a sense of that, getting a sense of peace, tranquility, revisiting something. That's what kind of gets me, though. Boom. Surrender to the divine energy. Stop. Ten of Wands. God damn. Oh shit. 
I'm gonna lay down my burdens. <laughs> Why did I say that? Down by the riverside. Da -da -da -da. Down by the riverside. Da -da -da. It might, uh, she does me get choked. It. Uh, I said that they're going to revisit and thing. I'm gonna lay down my burden. Stop. Down by the riverside. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. This just gives me forceful. It could be a sister, somebody taking certain things from you or somebody else in a context that you may be saying surrender to the divine, but it just kind of gives me forceful, like taking on too much in the sense of, and it's like giving little, like taking on or leaving it. That's why I said it kind of gives me like this. Uh, Scorpio card did come out. Though. I know I said this. I'm surprised that motherfucker didn't come out, but um, it's kind of like that though. Like that type of energy where you hear me say, I'm going to give you just enough. I don't know why. That's weird. But you got Ten of Wands. Letting go. Like holding on to that shit. Still pushing through. You got Six of Wands and the Six of Cups. That's why I said it's kind of like this process of surrendering to a sense of divine like energy or being or person or someone. I don't know. But it's kind of like surrendering that. You hear me say to be able to be to be able to move forward. That's why I said this two of cups. Don't know. Doesn't necessarily have to be a lover, partnership. Could be team, friends, don't know. Uh, a leader or a winner type spirit or an em empathetic type person. That's what it kind of gives me though. Cause six ten minus six equals four. Four minus six equals two. That's what I said. It's kind of like you're revisiting some sort of a relationship or part, an old lover, friend, boobie. I don't know who it is, but it's kind of like you're revisiting it. Because you got Scorpio energy, nine of cups, and the strength here. Stuck, complacency, pride, unhappiness, um, and a sense of being strong. I'm gonna lay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck I keep saying all these R words? That's what I want to know. But this is like repairing. I don't know why I keep getting that. This is a repairing type energy of something that was not happy. You must say taming your sense of your inner lion. Like you must say the burdens of being able to push through. Like how you maneuver. Where you hear me say pick yourself up, pick yourself up. Somebody maybe having a pity party, or you maybe having a pity party, or it could be feeling misjudged by someone or something. You could be doing that judging somebody for the wrong thing or judging somebody else. But it's kind of like somebody's having a sense of a pity party, and their emotions being emotionally driven. The whole spread that I said yesterday, that it limits you in this position where it's kind of like, oh my God, well, I'm kind of like not happy with what I did. That's why I said it's like revisiting. Because you got the Empress, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. That's why I said it's kind of like, yeah, you had to lose. Yeah, sometimes you gotta lose to win again. If it makes you cry, cry, cry. And all you do is fine and can't get no sleep. That's like the lyrics literally here. Sometimes you got a loop. But it's the Empress and you got you, Empress Reverse and the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords. That's why I said sometimes you got to lose, lose the attachment to the old you or the burdens or situations. You hear me say to be able to put yourself in a position to like sometimes that doubt whether it's others, whether it's people, it can resurrect a sense of a beast. You hear me say that, uh, that, that, that strength, it can resurrect a beast. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm hungry. I really am. And I can't communicate, I can't think when I'm hungry. I can, but I'm trying to push through. New romantic cycles in your life. So that's what's going on with this new moon in Libra. Let's see, is it love, is it? That's why I said somebody sneak, when y'all sneak dick if you a lady or a dude, whichever one you went to, or you a dude, you sneak pussy. That's all I gotta say. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? <laughs> is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Is this love that I'm feeling? <laughs> Page of Pentacles. Okay, new romantic cycles begin and fast. 
I think it's fast though. Like you may be meeting somebody or when it comes to a sense of relationship or partnerships or intimacy or things with you where you're gonna say self love, potions or magic or investment opportunities, that shit is gonna come at you so fast that you ain't even gonna know what you're gonna do. Yeah, and it probably started like in nineteen. Wait a minute, can I count? No, I said it probably started in the year 19. Six of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. That's why I said it probably started in the year 19. I'm talking about if you, wait a minute, if you are single, let me just hear you say that somebody, you would say those new romances cycles kicking in. It probably had started where you had been conversing with somebody from 19 or you probably had seen this and you kind of like, came in with that fire energy or whatever the case may be or it could just be intimacy with you or another partner now if you're in a relationship it could be like okay well you probably was hitting that sense of urgency in 2019 and then the quarantine hitting it's kind of like all right now you get on my fucking nerves babe yeah and it's kind of like you got to the position where you're comfortable with them or whatever the case may be, whether you're giving and receiving in a sense of love, whether it's comfort or sharing those intimacy, those niceties, or it could be, you hear me say, it could be passion projects or things that you hear me say that's idealistic to you to where you're able to exchange those sense of resources. But it looks like something that's coming in really hot and fast. So one of y'all been sneaky, sneak, sneak digging. That's all I got to say. Prosperity lies ahead in Taurus. Oh, okay. Is this love? Is this? Ooh, wee. Somebody trying to get you pregnant, trying to get somebody pregnant. Smack that on. Um, I'm just playing. Hey, that's all I gotta say. Hey, look, it come out. It want a peekaboo. Like it's a peekaboo card in that joint. It's a peekaboo. Oh, I said peekaboo. <laughs> it's a peekaboo. It's a peekaboo. All right. Ten of swords, that's why I said yes. I almost cue the music. That's cue the gospel music. I almost gave up. I felt like I just couldn't see life anymore. My problems let me down. But good Lord. Okay, uh, you got the sun, king of wands. And ugh, I'm telling y'all, this nigga just girl, I'm gonna do a whole nother video on it. King of Wands and the Nine of Wands. That's why I said this is here. Prosperity lies ahead, or whatever the case may be. Force you. You hear me say with financial or just assets. You hear me say piggybacking off the relationship aspects. But it's just being vulnerable. And like learning, like you hear me say, feeling like you're more exposed in that armor. So it may be more exposure that you hear me say to certain things that you may be trying to bring a light to. You hear me say force businesses, businesses, and that it may take you to get more exposure. That's why you hear me say uh, the justice and the star and the devil is here because it's like it's unbalanced. So it's kind of it's kind of like something needs some more of light, not light in a sense of like positivity could be though but it's kind of like this here but good lord god kill me what is it so i wouldn't let go why am i singing these songs <sighs> the point i'm trying to say is if you in some sort of business aspect you're gonna say for its prosperity it could be relationships or growing relationships or something with a kid or growing with kids somebody dealing with fertility or whatever it is it's kind of like that vulnerability is putting in it's putting you into a position to where you're able to give the attention to what needs to get its attention in this moment individually freeing yourself from a sense of bondage oppressive type ways thinking and being suppressed that's what it kind of gives me though damn couldn't get my words out for shit god kill me expect a powerful change what they say they do say that new moon and eclipse that's what it is god mercy kill me why am i singing these gospel songs Ooh. 
The devil's in the details. I don't know why I want to say that out loud. Queen of Cups there, what we got on the bottom of the deck. Got two of Pentacles, the food. And two of Pentacles, the cups, and then. Alright, okay. Mm. The point I'm saying is the reason why I'm saying this, though, expect the powerful change. <sighs> if you're so focused on what you focus on, like you hear me say, this is where the light is being shedded in those moments. It could be relationships aspect, like being intertwined with a person, or it could be businesses. You hear me say contracts, long term things that you love. The reason why I say pay attention because you got the Eight of Pentacles and you got the Eight of Swords, which is reverse. You hear me say they both cancel each other out. You do not want to go into something where you hear me say something is hitting or you're hiding certain personality traits of you or situations to where you end up stuck and you being bored and you have to do majority of the work where it seems like it's a financial loss or a communication loss or it could be more money but it's kind of like shit these motherfuckers drain the shit out of me make sure you know what the hell you're getting into that's why i said the devil is in the details or you could be sitting stuck you hear me say somebody could be going through a breakup a marriage whatever the case may be but it looks like something with a legal case two of wands six of wands and you got the knight of wands that's why i said make sure you know what is not seen in this moment or whatever the case may be or it could be a love that you hear me say that takes you relationship partnerships that removes this you hear me say just the the feisty the arrogant the the boisterous that type of behavior and to put it here the four pinnacles and the king of swords to release that and to find some sense of logic so it doesn't have to be just uh negative but just make sure you prepare for it because when you accustomed to operating in this two of wands fluctuating back and forth you hear me say using your air energy to be brutal and then this here when it comes to information that judgment energy can feel like shit i'm telling you to where it could make you where you're so accustomed to where like somebody's like, okay well we're taking it all away and it can put you back into this energy so that's why i said be mindful that you know the devil in the details when it comes to certain things that you want or expectations that you have of people oh shit we're just on 22 minutes yes all right okay so we're gonna do a recap why not Step into your step out of step out of your comfort zone. Why the I just noticed that. Step out of your comfort zone. You hear me say this could be someone that you may be misjudging or a situation or a relationship. Somebody who could um be actively a leader or could help you in those assets. It's like they may be hiding traits of them, but it don't look bad though. They may, like I said, don't look bad though. It's just you following your intuition though. But it was upright for its high priestess. So that's not a problem, but it's kind of like this here. You hear me say that there. My problems had me down. But it's kind of like, though, I said, step out of your comfort zone when it comes to you, happiness, situations, relationship, that there. That's why I said it's those two. It's there. Step out of your comfort zone. The energy is gaining momentum. You hear me say this is here. You hear me say moving from away in a sense of peace. Two, five cups. Moving into that energy where you hear me say, um, highlighting certain things that you didn't see before, like their restoration period. I don't know why I'm using all these R words or whatever the case may be. Seeing, you hear me say things for what it is and value in you. All right. What else? Surrender to the divine. I said, I don't know who that is to you being self higher, whatever it is. It's just surrender, surrender. And surrender doesn't always be in the sense of, of losing. That's what I want to say. Losing, though, because you hear me say this narrative of pushing the same thing, being by yourself, always doing everything for you, or the lack of help push you in like a destructive type space where you hear me say, where you think you're being strong, but it's not actually growing in those instances. And this here too, you hear me say, does build character, whatever the case may be, going through things by yourself because you initially lose the attachment 
and you decide to thrust forward because you have the empress here the ace of sword it doesn't have to always be insecurities and lack of love it's just recuperation like letting go of those negative experiences tether the strong the idea i got this i'm independent i'm focusing this energy so Rena, do you remember so pick yourself up ain't nobody helping though all right so you got a new romantic cycle again some of y'all are sneak digging i said that sneak digging sneak pussy whatever it is but if whatever it is you hear me say it's some sort of relationship that you saw some interest in 19 or some business or whatever you hear me say some cycle the relationship was a little bit better but quarantine came into play or somebody got a little comfortable you hear me say with you or the sense of relationship they trip say it's coming in very hot and ready and fast and with the king of pentacles it's like they ready to implant their girl that sound implant they 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 roots they trying to get some roots with you girl and girl is gender neutral so you could be a dude and i would call you a girl even if you're straight uh prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus all right you hear me say this is it this is it boom boom i said that though okay new moon in taurus where you hear me say the sun the king of wands the nine of wands the justice the star and the capricorn energy where you hear me say working on you like changing that sense of shift if it's businesses if it's contracts those type of things it's kind of like this new asset that brings in some sort of enlightenment relationship or whatever the case of it's gonna make you feel vulnerable and it's gonna feel a little bit off but it's it's gonna it's it's like res restoring something to put it in a place it's restoring something to make it whole for you to see the value in it right because independently i don't think you possibly know your worth or what it is you're capable or you may be telling somebody that boom or you may be an independent person trying to go into a business or whatever the case may be damn it that's what i was trying to say fuck all right last but least home resources and like that black tea and okay expect the power for change new moon and eclipse this is the stuff that is hidden from you you hear me say i said this is lovers this is eight of swords this is here i said the devil's in the details make sure you're figuring out certain things before you make a decision when it comes to contracts make sure you know what is not seen dealing with certain issues personality traits if you're getting into a relationship if you're getting into a business figure out what it is that goes into this if you're looking for some sort of spiritual awakening some sense of peace or enlightenment when it comes to you make sure you be prepared because you hear me say this knight of wands this six of wands um like what you giving attention to especially in this behavior when somebody snatch all that away it still can put you in here that's why i said be mindful because you can be so used to accustomed to that sense of chaos so when it's time to let it go you don't know what to do and then just the unknown and making sure somebody's taking their time with you which was the temperance or being patient or you exuding that same patience with somebody so you can keep your head on right all right so let's see let's see i think that's it though we didn't need everything we didn't need anything i gotta buy me some more oracle cards because i like this because it's it creates the time step out of your comfort zone i told y'all google it i think the north node is your sister sign so that means stop uh that could be your sister sign so if you operate more in your moon sign go to the opposite of your moon sign or whatever case may be you don't know but it's just like stepping out of the place of, of thinking mental emotional this is the in, the energy is gaining momentum where you hear me say newness certain things that's are enlightening that's bringing things in so ready to the divine what is it that you need to release at this moment whether it's your god creation rituals whatever it is you this new moon in libra you hear me say balance what's fair what is right what is wrong um what you willing to accept pros and cons what's in your wheelhouse what's gonna throw you off situations prosperity lies ahead you hear me say shine light get in that sense of publicity that's why i said it does it's that publicity something you haven't working on it's something you've been working on since 19 that you're trying to bring into a sense of alignment to get it that va -va -voom that it is that you need but i'm still saying some of y'all sneak dicky expect the power for change you hear me say like make sure that the change of it is right now while it's like if you're expecting some grandiose 
experience oh y'all if you experience some grandiose experience from something or someone it's like it's hidden from you so if it has something to do with an awakening or a sense of enlightenment like just imagine how hot it is when this like when that joint just boom, like that once the sun comes out of it. so just imagine that big burst of light so make sure you prepare for it that's all i gotta say all right so other than that i ain't got no more I wish y'all the best. I'm finna go take a nap. So, 